Hi, today I'm going to measure uh, the mobile phone the high and low frequency fields. Uh, I haven't done like a proper test with both of my meters, so I'm going to do it right now. First of all, this is my mobile phone, it's Nokia. Uh, it's like a kind of the sports version with compass and uh, high, and basically it's like a garbage like three years old or something like that and uh, here's like my low frequency meter that you saw in my other videos it measures like electric and magnetic fields and this one is like a high frequency meter that measures like high frequency fields like GSM, downlink, uh, GPS, civil uh, uplink, uh, Bluetooth, microwave, GSM 100, 800, 1800, uh, military GPS, radar, DAB, uh, CT1 plus uplink. Uh, so we're gonna properly test this mobile phone. First, uh, let's turn on the low frequency meter and let's switch to electric fields right now it shows like 2 volts per meter uh, that's classified as safe almost safe uh, amount of low frequency electric uh, field it shows like 1 or 2 so we're gonna call the render num num number and you can see like the meter picks up some level of electric fields like from 20 to 60 if I turn the phone around it's a little bit less but basically uh, the amount doesn't go to the extreme it showed like yeah it shows like from 2 to 60 let's let's do it again twenty four twenty thirty this is like a strong electric field strong electric fields is classified from 5 to 50 volt per meter so it falls in that range uh, but I, it's it's not extreme. Extreme is above fifty, but on average it shows like two to four. Only when it connects, the level is higher. So two to four is like still weak electric field, electric field. So let's switch to magnetic field and turn the mo mobile phone off. It shows like twenty four because I'm living in this apartment complex where there's a lot of electric uh, uh, electric appliances and TVs and stuff like that turn on right now so it picks up uh, the, those electric uh, magnetic fields uh, we're gonna measure magnetic fields in Newton Teslas so first I have the classification the safe uh, amount of magnetic fields is less than 20 Newton Teslas and weak is from 20 to 100 strong is from 100 to 500 and extreme amount of magnetic fields is above 500 Newton Teslas so right now it shows like 15 to 24 it's still classified as safe magnetic field and let's call like a random number and see what happens it goes to 70, 80, 90 90, 40, 40, 40 to 90 and see that's still a weak magnetic field uh, 40 to 90 and that's not like really dangerous but remember this meter only measures the low frequency fields so that's not like properly uh, you cannot properly measure the dangerous levels of radiation from mobile phones with, with this device so 
but I just wanted to measure the amount of electric and magnetic fields just uh, just for fun and let's turn the mobile phone off and as you can see like when the mobile phone is still turned on uh, uh, it doesn't uh, really uh, it still picks up some signal and let's turn it off and let's use uh, the high frequency meter I'm gonna measure the high the level of high frequencies uh, in microvolts microvat microvolt microvolts per meter and uh, I'm gonna switch to pulsed so and in pulsed uh, mode the safe amount of uh, uh, of high frequency field is like less than 0 0.1 and weak is from 0 0.1 to 5 microvolts per meter and strong is for five, from 5 to 100 and extreme is like over 100 let's see if we can if our uh, mobile phone can bring this device over over 100 that's classified as extreme level of high fre frequency fields Right now it shows like 1, 1.72 and this is classified as weak amount of high frequency field. As I said before, there's a lot of people living in this complex. So the next time I'll probably measure the amount of... Uh, I'm gonna do this test in somewhere in the nature. But for now it will do. Uh, so let's call the same number and see what happens remember the extreme amount of uh, high frequency field is above 100 and strong is from 5 to 100 now it shows like 44 if, if let, let's if if I point the meter towards the window it shows like 5 because it picks up uh, the signals from outside of the house and uh, let's do it. Let's call the random number. If see if it goes to 100. Yeah, it 180 more than 200. More than 200. More than 200. Like right here, it shows still 70. more than 200 microvat per meter and usually we have like a mobile phone this close to our head and it shows over around 200 over 200 microvolt per meter so this is like a really dangerous amount of high frequency field and I think this test is concluded as you can see we measured like low frequency and high frequency field of the mobile phone and uh, and you can see like the mobile phone is dangerous it emits over 200 microvolts per meter that's classified as extreme level of high frequency field and Hopefully in the future we're gonna have like another solution and this is probably why people have like tumors, cancer, tumors where they hold their, in exactly the same spot that they hold their uh, mobile phones and I think this test is concluded.